guys, so today I'm going to be filming the products that I loved during the year of 2010. I'm sorry that this video wasn't really out at the end of 2010, but better late than never. The reason that I wanted to do it is because I saw that a lot of people had done it and I thought it would be a really fun video to do. So I basically just put everything into a category like best foundation, best blush. So I'm going to go ahead and get started because this video is going to be super long just because there are a lot of categories. So keep watching if you want to see what I love for 2010. Okay, so we're going to start off with the best foundation. And I didn't really use a lot of other foundations than this one just because I felt like this one had really good coverage and it worked really well for me so I didn't really switch or find another one. But this is the Revlon Photo Ready. So I like this because it comes with a pump and it distributes just the right amount. And a lot of products, they either don't come with a pump or they come with a pump, but they pump out way too much, which is completely defeating the purpose of the pump. So I like this because I get exactly the portion that I want and it has a pump. So yeah, that's all I have to say about this, but it's a really great drugstore foundation. The next category is best concealer, and I went through a couple concealers this year, but I always went back to this one. I've bought at least like three or four between the whole year, and it is the Dream Mousse Concealer. And this one is in light four to five, and I use this one for under eye concealer, but I also have one that's a shade darker for blemishes and stuff. You can definitely see that this has been well loved. It's uh, a mousse consistency, so it's not like a liquid or like a stick. It's like in between, and it's, it's. I think it's pretty unique because I don't really see most concealers in a mousse form. So, yeah, this just gives me really great coverage. This covers up my under eye circles really, really well, as well as blemishes. Okay, so the next thing is face primer, and this is the Smashbox Photo Finish. And this is in the light shade. I also have the regular, like, clear one, but I didn't like it because I felt like my face was left kind of oily, and I don't like that feeling. I just get a much cleaner feel from this. And as, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see, but, like, most of it is clear. You can see almost completely through it, and I need to get another one. But this is just a really great face primer, and I felt like when I used this, my makeup would definitely stay on longer and... It just makes everything blend a lot easier, and it's just an overall great primer. So if you're looking for a primer, this was, I think, $16. So I would definitely look at this one because you don't have to buy the full size. This is only, like, the sample size, and I've had it for, like, four months. So obviously, it'll last you a really long time. So yeah, I definitely recommend that. Okay, and the next category is powder. This powder, I can honestly say I used the entire year. I'm already going to have to get a new one of this because I have hit, like, pan bad. <laughs> so this is the Dream Matte Powder. And I absolutely love this because no matter how much powder that you try and put on, it's never, ever going to look cakey during the day. And I really, really like that. So I really, really recommend this. Like, really, really, really recommend this if you want a really good powder. That is my powder. And this is in light 4 to 5. The next category is bronzer. I'm currently really liking the NARS Laguna bronzer, but that's only because I, like, just got it. But during 2010, I really liked my Hoola Benefit bronzer. And the case is kind of cool because it, like comes off like that but that's what the product looks like I like it because it's matte and it's not orange so I have really been enjoying my hula bronzer it was very well loved and I will continue to use it okay so the next category is blush and I didn't really get into wearing blush until like September or October of last year so I can't really say anything for the beginning of the year but the end of the year, MAC blushes all the way. So this is just one of them. This is Pink Swoon. Um, I also have Desert Rose, Trace Gold, and Lady Blush, I think. But these, depending on the type that you get, they can be really, really pigmented. Or you can get like this, which is sheer. There's just so many choices, and the color varieties are amazing. They have... Reds, pinks, purples, browns, like 
It's crazy what people want to put on their cheeks, but if you want to, they have it. I just love it because there's such a great variety. These awesome blushes. So the next thing is eyeshadow primer, and I'm going to be like everyone else and have to say it was Urban Decay Primer Potion. I would say that uh, Too Faced Shadow Insurance was a close second, but definitely this one was number one throughout the entire year. This one is actually empty, so I'm going to have to get a new one. I have like a whole bunch of those sample sizes from different palettes and stuff, but I love this stuff so much. And if you've never tried an eyeshadow primer, you really, really, really need to try this one. I know it's $18, and that seems like a lot, but this lasted me the entire year of 2010, and it makes your shadows more vibrant. They stay on so much longer, and I would recommend a primer to anyone who is starting out with eye makeup. Best product ever. Okay, now next I'm going to do eyeshadow primers, and I'm going to do drugstore, and then I'm going to do high-end. So drugstore, there was actually a tie. Um, I'll show you. The first one is the Maybelline Quads. Okay, and then this is in Sunlit Bronze. And you can see that this color was very much loved during 2010. There's like a huge crater in that one. <laughs> but uh, these are just great summer colors. During the summer, I liked wearing these almost every single day just because they're so sparkly. And I like these because you have every single color for one look and you don't have to rummage through a whole bunch of different shadows to find the one you're looking for. These have an entire look in one. And then the next thing is the Rimmel London Quads. And this one happens to be in Smoky Brune, I think. That might be French, I'm not really sure. Basically everything that I said about the Maybelline Quads applies to this as well. And this color right here is like the best chocolate brown I've ever seen in my life. That's why this is the only one that's hit pan because even when I used other shadows, I would pull this out just so I could use that brown. I really don't have anything bad to say about either of these. They're just both amazing quads. Okay, and then for high end, I'm sorry, but I have to go with MAC all the way. I'm just going to show you my palette. I think you guys have seen this before, but these shadows are just so pigmented, they're so vibrant, and I can't think of any other high-end brand that does it the same as MAC. Um, and like I said before, MAC just has the biggest array of colors. So if you're one of those girls who likes to slather rainbows on their lids, you can do that with MAC. I mean. They have everything from aqua to black to neutrals to reds to purples to pinks. They have every single color in the rainbow and more. I took these because they're depotted was $11, but these are going to last me forever. And my money is very well spent. So even though it's a little pricey, I feel like I'm getting my money's worth. Yeah, so MAC all the way. Next category is liners, and I could not decide between my liners. So I kind of have subcategories, I guess you could say. So I have pencil, liquid, and gel. The first one is liquid, which isn't really liquid, it's a felt tip. And this is the e.l.f. waterproof eyeliner pen. Okay, so that's what it looks like, just a regular felt tip liner. So there's a swatch of it. It's super black and it's waterproof so it stays on all day. I've never been in the pool with it so I can't really say whether if you jump in the pool it's going to stay on or not. But it stays on my eyes all day and I really, really like that. So this is liner number one. So the next liner is a pencil and this is the L'Oreal Extra Intense Liquid Pencil Eyeliner. And you can see that I've definitely used most of this up. It used to be about out here. Um, this is also my second one, so I've used this a lot. But this is the most pigmented liner I've ever seen in my life, especially for a pencil. It's, I want you to see how pigmented this is. Do you see how pigmented that is? That's just like a swipe of the pencil. It is the craziest stuff ever. And this stuff is just the best pencil liner that I've ever used. 
and it's drugstore, so it's not that expensive, and I definitely recommend it. Okay, and then for gel liner, um, I'm going to have to go with my L'Oreal Hip Color Truth Cream Eyeliner. And this is just the black one. But if you look, it looks like I've attacked this thing. I use it all the time. There's like a huge crater in it. But it's just so great. But I've had it for months and it hasn't dried out yet. So I don't understand how that's even possible. But this stuff obviously doesn't dry out very quickly. Super, super black. Like, you don't even know. Obviously, you can see I really like my liners to be pigmented. I don't have a MAC Black Track gel liner yet, but I really want one. And I heard this was a really good dupe. So... I'm just telling you guys, if you want a MAC Black Track gel liner and you just don't want to spend the money, definitely go for this. And then for mascara, I have to go with my ultimate, ultimate, ultimate favorite, which is the CoverGirl Lash Blast. I like the line because there's just so many different mascaras to choose from. This is the waterproof one, but they have the regular, they have the fusion, there's, I have like this pink one, I don't even know what it's called. This is literally the best mascara I've ever used in my life. And the wand may kind of scare you because it is ginormous. But don't let it scare you because this will make your lashes volumized and lengthening. And that's what you want in mascara, don't you? And this one's waterproof too, so you, you could go swimming with this stuff. I can vouch for that because I have gone swimming with this and it does work. So this one's waterproof. But I... I can't turn my back on this stuff. I always end up buying it again, and it's just so amazing. Okay, so lips. Let's just do them together. Lipstick and lip gloss both go to MAC. I can't imagine living without these two things. Um, this is Hue. And then I couldn't find the lip gloss that I was looking for, but this is Devishly Styled. And this is from the Venomous Villains collection. It's just like this really cool pink nudie color. But like I said, MAC has the biggest array of colors, best pigmentation, overall best company. If I had to give one company an award for the best of 2010, it would have to be MAC. I'm sure hundreds of people would agree with me, but MAC is just so amazing. I promise I'm not sponsored by them or anything. I just love MAC. I'm a MAC girl. I think I always will be. And I love MAC. Finally, the last item of the 2010 awards is a perfume because I felt like I had to bring this in here because it's a perfume that I really liked during 2010. DKNY Be Delicious. Uh, this is the 1.7 fluid ounces, but obviously it's still a huge container. Uh, this is how it comes out. You push this button and it comes out of here. But I think it's adorable. I mean, it looks like an apple. It smells like an apple. It's just an amazing perfume. And it doesn't have a specific time of year that you have to use it. I know a lot of perfumes you either use during the day or during the night. Or you can only use them during the summer. Or you can only use them during the winter. This is an all day, all year round perfume. So yeah, best perfume of 2010. And I have to thank Megan Hart's makeup for this one. She told me about this and I bought it and I honestly thank her for that because best perfume of 2010. Okay, so I am finally done with all the things that I've been loving for 2010. I hope this wasn't a majorly long video. If it was, I'm sorry. Okay, so I'm going to go now. I hope you loved this video. If you didn't, then I'm sorry. I tried. But, um, so if you have anything to comment or suggest for a future video, leave them in the bottom bar. Okay, so I'm going to go now. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.